Hello, Cac Science here, and today we'll be talking about the northern pen oak, Quercus palustris. The leaves of the northern pen oak have five to seven lobes, and like most um, trees in the red oak family, the lobes are pointed. In the summer, they have a dark green color, and in the, um, in the fall, they produce a golden brown color. Now, compared to most trees, these trees actually lose their leaves very late, very late in the fall, usually at the last minute. Um, the bark is very lightly fissured and have very light bark compared to most uh, oak trees, making them very easily recognizable. Pin oaks are very hardy trees. They can tolerate a large variety of different soils. Um, these specimens were found in very rocky, clay-ridden soils that would be very hard to grow in um, for other species of trees. Like most species of deciduous trees in the eastern United States, the pin oak shape and size will be determined by the environment it's growing in. Pin oaks that grow in the forested area will be very tall, spindly, can grow up to about 110 feet tops and the diameter range is about one foot. Pin oaks that grow alone in a field area will grow probably a diameter of three feet and will not become as tall. These specimens are likely to have very spreading branches. To outcompete other plants, pin oaks have a very acidic leaf. When the leaf falls in the autumn, these leaves um, decompose and deteriorate, eventually lowering the pH in the soil. The soil then becomes very acidic. This makes it so that not many other species of plants will be able to grow in that soil, and pin oaks will reign supreme over that area. The pin oak can be found throughout the northeast of the United States, and now it has become a common street side tree as they are very fast growers and provide a nice shaded area for many street sides in towns and cities. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more videos on trees from Keck Science. So please like and subscribe.